come into our shop all the time and ask us, hey, have you seen the latest episode with the dad and his son? You know, yeah, we have. Um, we watch those shows. Those shows are very interesting. They kind of give a different aspect of all over the country of what motorcycle builders do. And, and it's really kind of opened up our industry here, uh, making it a little bit more politically acceptable. Um, the back getting on a motorcycle, it was, it was quite an adventure for a woman to see a woman in a skirt on a motorcycle, but it was acceptable early in the 20s and 30s. You know, the girl would be considered rowdy. And then we got into a trend about in the 50s and 60s and 70s where, you know, the bitch was on the back. And, and that's where, you know, the, the image, I think, of a female a biker, she was a, she was a troublemaker, she was a hooligan, just like her man, but she was considered a piece of property back in, in, in those days. Motorcycles and choppers are so popular now. Because of TV, because of American Chopper, and because of Biker Build Off, and all of the TV shows that are on. that don't understand the difference between Harry Davis and motorcycles and a chopper, could you please explain to them what the basic difference is? Well, a Harley is something, is a great bike. I've got one myself. Um, a Harley is a motorcycle you can go in there. Generally speaking, you're, you're getting for comfort. Um, you, you buy a bike for 18, 19,000 bucks and you add another $10,000 for the chrome. And uh, either for you know motors or just to look good. And you're right, the chopper is something that's generally speaking, um, something you're going to pay more money for, but it's already got the chrome, already got the motor, um, it's already built to, your, to what you like. So who or what influenced you to ride motorcycles slash choppers? When I was a young girl growing up in South Dakota, my father bought me a little dirt bike, and uh, that's what started my riding experience. And, uh, but I, you know, I credit my, my father for getting me started in there. So how long have women been involved in the motorcycle scene? Well, motorcycling's been around for about 100 years, and women have been involved in motorcycling for most of those 100 years. Uh, in the 1930s, there was a group of women uh, called the Motor Maids that started a group, um, and the only requirement to join was um, uh, either owning a motorcycle or, or riding a motorcycle that was owned by a family member. And so how do you feel about women taking a more dominant role within the motorcycle scene? Um, it's it's a it's a positive role. Women women can do anything that they want to do, and it just it just proves some women have been doing it throughout history, and they're moving more into the forefront. There's a, a percentage rate of about uh, the magic number in the industry is nine percent of most women now are right nine nine percent of the women that are in the sport of motorcycling are riding their own bikes. Who were some of the women that influenced you to ride motorcycles? Uh, one of the people that have inspired me, uh, not just in motorcycle riding, but in motorcycle racing, is Angel. Um, she's the number one uh, female drag racer in the nation. One of them was my aunt Bobby. Um, she was uh, she was a rough and tumble kind of lady, and she <laughs> one of the old ladies, old men were out cheating on him. So her and five other girls got the man drunk, took him out in the woods and glued his penis to his leg. So, wait, Janis Joplin, she's cool. <laughs> she's one of my favorites. She, she, she was actually one of the first wild females, I know on the front of her album, shows her riding a chopper. And, and that was real cool, I have that album. She was an impressive woman. Yeah, basically, what is your feel that should women, they should, you, do you encourage more women to get up there? Or Absolutely. to stay where they feel where they're comfortable? Well, I, you know, if a woman doesn't feel comfortable getting on a motorcycle, I tell her don't feel bad about it. Stay, stay off the motor, stay off the front of a motorcycle. If you're not comfortable with it, you're going to get out there and get killed. It's, it's happening. There's a, there's a ton more women riding now. That's the equal rights thing, I guess. So, yeah. you know, it's, uh, it's cool. You know, it's, it's, it's a happening thing. There's more and more. We, we ride for the Lord. What impact have women had within or on? the motorcycle slash hard and chopper community? I wouldn't say that women have a specific direct impact on either war. I mean, there's women that ride, that's great. There's women that ride on the back, and that's great too. It's acceptable. It's acceptable to be a woman, to be empowered, to do your own thing, to take control of your life, and, and riding a motorcycle is part of that. And it's definitely going to be a growing, growing trend. Uh -huh.